Hi, I'm Mal and welcome back to Mini Model Makes. Today I'm going to go through a really easy way of producing heat bloom or heat stress to metal on exhausts uh, which can also be used on weapons like melter guns. It's a really simple quick technique, it will give you a really good um, look to a tabletop themed army and all you need for this are three shade paints. They are Seraphim Sepia, Drakenhof Nightshade and Druki Violet. As I've mentioned it's really quick, it's going to take probably less than five minutes so let's crack on now, I've got some models that I need to do some work on the exhausts for, let's move on. So here I have my um, new claw leader that I've painted for a unit of or to go with a unit of Space Wolf Outriders for my uh, Horus Heresy Space Wolves army and I've got him to the point where it's just sort of transfers and any weathering I want to do now. Um, as you can see I've got the exhaust here and the first thing I'm going to do for this heat bloom effect is a get some of the Drakenhof Nightshade Pop some of that onto a palette at the side of the model here. That's it. And what I'm going to do is apply it to the back of the exhaust just here. Okay, you can see that on there. I'm going in quite a bit because I am going to overlap that. That's on that side. And exactly the same again. On this side of the exhaust. To that point on there. That's the Drakenhof done. We'll move on to the next layer in a moment. The Drakenhof nightshade is now dry. We move on to the next step. Let's get some Druki Violet onto a palette. Let's bring up the exhaust so you can see it there. What we're trying to do now is overlap a tiny bit what the section we've already painted. And add our own section to it as well. So basically we've overlapped it there and then started to put our own colour on the exhaust there as well. Okay. Exactly the same with the other. A bit more overlap there. I'm going to do the other two bikes I've got here now and then I'll get back to you when they're dry. Finally we have the last stage which is Seraphim Sepia. Just pop some of that onto my palette at the side. Always remember to use a palette. It allows greater control of your paint. It allows you to thin your paints down. Not that you need to with these washes. But controls how much you have on your brush and therefore how much you're going to put on the model. So less chance of mistakes. And um, with this final Seraphim sepia, we do the exact trip where we overlap some of the uh, Druki violet from before, and we just apply that to the back of the exhaust there. And there we have the heat bloom effect. On the exhaust there you can just about make it out in the light. Really really quick and simple as I've said. Let's do the other side now. You can go 
a step further with this and start putting things like soot powders and other bits and pieces on but I just really want to show you a very quick effective simple technique that anyone can do um, you don't really need any practice at all with this and when that's dry that'll look really effective you can already sort of see from a distance it gives you that sort of thing now this can be used on exhaust it can be used on melter guns flamers volkite weapons uh, las weapons battle cannons if you really want it to to give it that look that is uh, repeatedly firing and therefore building up heat um, anything along those lines really and that's it so we'll wrap up that video now and that's another technique you can use to add to making your models that little bit better okay so there we are that's the end of our video on heat bloom it's a really simple effect can be done with only three paints and can be done in a matter of minutes um, if you don't take into account the drying time. I hope you have a go at that and uh, it'd be nice if you could let me know how it goes, put it put into the comments in the video below, that'd be great. What I'd also appreciate is if uh, you found that worthwhile, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, it'd aid me greatly as a, a pretty newly formed channel to get off the ground if I could have some subscribers, which would be amazing. And the final thing is I have a Facebook page called Mini Model Makes. I'll put that up onto here as well. And if you could join there, that would be great. You can send me messages. You can ask me um, how I do certain things or give me some ideas that you'd like to see into other videos. So hopefully see you again soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.